Want to turn your old PC into a powerful home theater system? With LibreLake it's easy. Hi, I'm Thomas and today I'll show you how to install and set up LibreLake, a lightweight operating system designed specifically for media playback. By the end of this video you have a sleek, efficient media center ready to use. Let's dive in. LibreLake is a minimal Linux based operating system built to run Kodi, which is a, an open source popular media center software. It's lightweight, fast, and perfect for creating a dedicated media server on devices like PCs, Raspberry Pis, and more. First, head on over to the official LibreLake website, which is just LibreLake.tv, then click on Downloads. And then here we want a LibreLake USB SD creator. This makes it very easy to make a, a LibreLake USB drive. Here you want to choose your system, Windows, Mac OS. On, on this case, we're going to be using Windows. Wait a little bit for that to download. Okay, now you want to open it, click on run, you might get a, a warning, do you want to allow this app to, from an unknown publisher, click on yes, press I accept the agreement, press next, next, and, and install. Now press finish. Now. Go to your Windows search and type in LibreLake USB SD Creator right here. Now select the version of hardware you want to use. On this uh, tutorial I'm going to use a generic x86 computer but you can use a, a Raspberry Pi. It, this is up to you. I'm going to click on generic. You have two versions here, legacy and generic. Generic is going to be used on computers that have the UEFI BIOS. So that typically computers are ranging from 4th gen Intel and newer. Legacy is for the really old computers. On this case I need the generic one. And click now download. You have to select the folder to save it. Right here. Now you have to wait for it to download. I'll cut to, to, the, to the part where it's downloaded. Okay, now the download has finished. Now you will need a flash drive or an SD card. You have to have a flash drive with a, with a minimum 2 GB capacity. You can use a USB 2.0 or 3.0. I recommend using a 3.0 just because it's faster. Now you have to plug it into your system. Now, here, press refresh, your USB, your USB drive should be automatically selected, and now press write. Your USB drive will be wiped, just you know, all the data on it is going to be gone. If you are okay with this, press yes. If, if you are not okay, press no, go back, back up your files, and then click yes. Okay, now that the download had, has finished, you will see a folder pop up on your uh, computer. Just ignore this, not important for now. Now you have to get your PC ready, the one you want to install LibreLake on. For this, I would suggest looking up the key that you use to enter uh, to the boot menu. For example, mine is an HP. Just type in HP boot menu key. As you can see, Mine is F9 here, Your, yours will be different, it might be F12, F2, escape, delete, the manufacturer will, say, will tell you what it is. Look this up and then get ready to install. Plug in the USB drive, have a monitor, keyboard, mouse and optionally a network connection connected. And then we'll uh, get to the inst installation. Now with the USB plugged in, boot your PC and press the key to, to your boot menu. Just spam it and then you'll see something different pop up. Okay. Now, 
here you select UEFI, uh, the name of your USB drive. Now here you you get this. Here you want to type in run or just wait a little bit. The this will show up. Here. This is the graphical user interface before you had to type in commands, but this is new now. Welcome to Libre Lake Installation Tool. Okay, press enter. Now this this is not good. We want to install Libre Lake on the current USB drive. This is showing me my system, my Windows drive, which is not what I want. Go back. Go to reboot. Now I'm gonna press the uh, the hot key again to get into the boot menu. Now go again. Here, type in R U N, which is this option. Run. Press enter. Now the USB drive will get ready. As you can see, here it says creating file system. Just wait for this to be done. This will only happen once. Now it will say rebooting. Now you don't have to press anything, the system will automatically reboot the USB drive even if you have other drives connected to the computer. Okay, now that now this will show up, you are now booted into your USB. Here you can change your language. If you want to change it, you can. Press next. Here you can change the host name if you're going to use network file sharing. Here you can configure your network. If you if you plug in a, a wired cable, it will automatically connect. You don't have to do anything. If you're using Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi connections will show up here. You can select and connect to your one. Here you you can uh, allow remote access, uh, which is differently called SSH. If you want to, you can. Uh, this is default, I leave it like this, it, I don't see a good reason of using it, so just leave it like this. Now, press next. Here you are, booted into code, this is a user interface. Here you can access your movies, TV shows, IPTV if you, if you configure it, and your add-ons. I will show you how to install add-ons and, al and also how to uh, add your movies and TV shows. First of all, you, for your add-ons, go to install from repository. Then here, call the other repository, or if you want to add more, you, you can select them here. I'm going to go on Kodi. Now, here you can choose the kind of add-on you want. If you want a different look to your installation, you can go to look and feel. Go to skin. You have many different community-made skins. But... We are, we are going to focus on the video add-ons, because generally th those are the most important. Here, you can choose what you want to install. I'm going to install Ketchup TV and more. This is, a, this is an IPTV one, so it will give you some basic free channels. If you want a, a better experience, you're going to have to look uh, it up in your own time. IPTV on Kodi. There are many great guides you can check out that will show you everything you need to know. Wait a little bit for it to install. <laughs> okay. Now you can you can go on it. Go to open. And then 
you can go to live TV select the country you want for example I want to view you know US if I go to a channel like this CBS News for example if you get something like that like an add-on ju just press yes these are required for the add-on to function properly you have to accept let it finish now that as you can see the channel has loaded if you get this spinning icon you can check up here but as you can see the channel is working properly this is how you play media from an add-on and I'm going to show you how you can add your own media here so go to movies enter file section add videos here you can browse here your drives will be listed for example you might have a USB or hard drive connected they will be listed here or if you want to or if you want to add media to the USB you can go here and then you'll have TV shows videos here you have to add this on your own or if you have a NAS or network attached storage you, you can put the IP address here put your details there and you can add it that way this is everything you need to know to get a uh, basic Libre Lake installation up and running hope you found this tutorial helpful if there's anything I missed out put it down in the comments and I'll be sure to, gi to give an update about it thank you so much take care bye now